Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to WWE 2K22 Universe Mode. This is episode 19. Welcome to WWE Main Event. And this is your final stop on the road to Money in the Bank coming up on May the 2nd, right here on the No Nation YouTube channel. A live premiere coming up on May the 2nd, which will be an extraordinary event. And coming up on tonight's main event, we get a preview of the women's Money in the Bank ladder match. But all six women pair off in a six women tag team matchup. Candice, Io, Asuka versus Shayna Baszler, Ember Moon, and Shotzi in tonight's main event. That is going to be a good one coming up later on. Well, let's keep the road going to Money in the Bank as the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship, Drew McIntyre, is set for action here tonight. Last week here on Main Event, Drew McIntyre, the last man standing in that eight man over the top rope battle royal, getting five of seven eliminations in that contest. McIntyre will now move on to fight the Celtic Warrior Sheamus for the Intercontinental Gold on May 2nd on pay-per-view. What a collision that is going to be. Two old friends, two old foes going at it. This time for a prestigious prize in the Inner Continental Championship. But McIntyre set for action to kick us off here on Main Event. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Air Scotland. Weighing in at 254 pounds. Drew. So McIntyre earned the right as we mentioned, and now he's got a date set with his old friend and an old foe and the Celtic Warrior Sheamus who won the Intercontinental Championship back at Backlash. Now Sheamus defends the championship for the very first time come Money in the Bank. And what a colossal opponent he has waiting for him. Somebody who knew, he knows very well inside of that ring, Drew McIntyre. But McIntyre set for action here tonight against a close friend of Sheamus and a former friend of his as well, the modern day Maharaja, Jinder Mahal. Mahal was a part of that battle royal last week, and I'm sure after coming up with a losing end, he's looking to get a little bit of retribution over the man who walked out the victor on that night, the current number one contender, Drew McIntyre. And his opponent from Punjab, India, weighing in at 238 pounds. As we mentioned, ladies and gentlemen, Money in the Bank, our next pay-per-view event will be a live premiere right here on the YouTube channel Monday, May the 2nd at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. It is going to be an extraordinary event, seven huge matches. We'll talk about it later this evening. Definitely make sure you tune in to the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. We're going to get a little preview on the road to Money in the Bank here tonight. As we got the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship gold, the Claymore King himself, Drew McIntyre, versus the modern day Maharaja, Jinder Mahal. A big time collision set to kick us off here tonight on main event. Of course, as we mentioned, we got that women's Money in the Bank preview coming up later tonight in the six women tag team matchup. But here we go, Drew McIntyre and Jinder Mahal kicking us off here this evening. And I'm sure Jinder Mahal was given some strict orders from his friend, the Celtic warrior Sheamus, to soften up Drew McIntyre ahead of Money in the Bank. I'm sure Sheamus, if McIntyre doesn't go into that Intercontinental Championship 100%, would not be complaining. And the edge he can get, I'm sure he would take. Sheamus knows how to get it done in the ring, but when he got somebody standing across, like the Claymore King, Drew McIntyre, I'm sure the Intercontinental Champion wouldn't mind getting an edge in that matchup. Jinder Mahal, on the other hand, he's in here at the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship, Drew McIntyre. Even if Mahal's orders tonight for his friend Sheamus were to soften up Drew McIntyre, a win for Jinder Mahal could easily put him in future contention for the Intercontinental Championship. No matter if it's Drew McIntyre or if it's Sheamus, coming out of Money in the Bank with the IC Gold. And McIntyre taking the fight to Jinder Mahal, the ground and pound from Drew McIntyre. This shot at the Intercontinental Championship coming up at Money in the Bank, something Drew McIntyre has been searching for for quite a bit. He's had a couple of opportunities go right past him as of late here on WWE television. First, he failed in the finals of the number one contenders tournament in the WWE Championship against AJ Styles right before Backlash. And then a few weeks back as well, he failed to qualify for the men's Money in the Bank 
ladder matchup, but he lost to Edge over on Monday Night Raw. McIntyre able to bounce back and finally get some momentum in his corner. An absolutely dominant showing and very impressive from Drew McIntyre in that eight-man battle royal last week. Five eliminations of the seven, as we mentioned. And in the end, McIntyre was the last man standing. And that is how he punched his ticket and finally seized the opportunity on the road to Money in the Bank. And McIntyre looking great right now over his old foe and old friend, Jinder Mahal. Not the only fr old foe and old friend, I should say, that McIntyre has got in his hindsight with Sheamus coming up. McIntyre's heading to the top rope, not something we see out of the big man too often, but he hits a big time elbow drop. And that's going to hurt more than your average elbow drop, but he got somebody the size and stature of Drew McIntyre coming crashing down on you. McIntyre went for a kick with Jim the Hall. Feel a sense of urgency looking to fight back over the big man. Both these two men in incredible shape inside of the ring. It's going to come down to talent. Oh, and wait, wait, Jim the Hall. I gotta cut myself off here. It looks like he's gonna be locking Drew McIntyre in a submission hold here. That camel clutch. McIntyre could be in trouble. This is gonna put a lot of pain on that lower back of the big man. And Drew McIntyre here. Oh, look at this. Just the power from McIntyre. Able to power out of it. Says so General Hall crashing through the canvas. So Drew with a big time clothesline. McIntyre looking to continue the fight on Jimmy Mahal. As I was mentioning a few minutes ago, both these guys in incredible shape. The result of this matchup most likely going to come down to who just gets the final nail in the coffin. As McIntyre continuing the offense over the modern day Maharaja. Nice kick there. And just using his power over Jimmy Mahal. So maybe Mahal has as well, but we know how McIntyre can really lay it in inside the squared circle. He's a former Intercontinental Champion, a former WWE Champion, a former Royal Rumble match winner. McIntyre knows how to get it done inside the ring. Just because opportunities have been passing him by recently doesn't mean McIntyre's going to let them all slip up. I'm sure McIntyre's laser focused, heading into his collision with Sheamus at Money in the Bank. Nice shot. Now Mahal, look at this. Hook in the arms and takes Drew McIntyre over. Very impressive out of Mahal. Drew McIntyre taking a lot of offense to the lower back in this contest. Something that he's got to pay attention to, especially heading into, heading into his match with Sheamus. Mahal is definitely doing work over Drew McIntyre. I'm sure Sheamus, Intercontinental Champion, is loving what he sees. And he looks on in this contest. And McIntyre, nice kick in the hall there, just continuing the ground and pound. Drew McIntyre, I'm sure, is looking to send an emphatic message to the Intercontinental Champion this evening as he picks up the hall and slams him down. Nice power slam by Drew McIntyre. The hall down and out, and I think we know what Drew McIntyre is searching for here in the corner. Big time Claymore kick. Jinder Mahal eats it. And Drew McIntyre building momentum towards the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. Jinder Mahal definitely doing work over the number one contender throughout this contest. McIntyre taking a lot of offense to the lower back in the sternum, as you saw there. But in the end, the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship able to battle back. Able to take out the modern name Maharaja. Able to power out of camel clutch and moves like that. And in the end, McIntyre with that big time exclamation point to Claymore over Jinder Mahal in this contest. Big time win for the number one contender. Here is your winner, Drew McIntyre. So will Drew McIntyre be able to get the job done yet again come May the 2nd? Live at Money in the Bank. It is Drew McIntyre versus the Celtic Warrior Sheamus. One of the most prestigious prizes in our business. The Inner Cat Middle Championship. Let's continue on here on WWE Money in the Bank. You want to talk about building momentum towards Money in the Bank. Here comes the number one contender for the Cruiserweight Championship of the World. The Swerve is in the house. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Tacoma, Washington. Weighing in at 201 pounds. 
Isaiah Swerve Scott. Isaiah Swerve Scott will go one on one with the leader of Legado del Fantasma, Santos Escobar, for the Cruiserweight Championship of the World come May 2nd at Money in the Bank. On that night, will it become Swerve's house when Money in the Bank comes to the Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia? Or the leader of Legado del Fantasma, Santos Escobar, keep his reign of dominance over the cruiserweight division. It's going to be an incredible contest. We saw Swerve Scott be the final man left in that six-pack challenge at Backlash with Santos Escobar. Came so close to becoming the cruiserweight champion on that night, but Santos got his hand raised. But Isaiah, with a little bit of a tune-up match against another member of Legado del Fantasma. He's going one-on-one -on -one with Raul. Mendoza right here on main events. And his opponent, accompanied by Joaquin Wilde, representing Legado del Fantasma from Cordoba, Veracruz, Mexico. Weighing in at 190 pounds, Raul Mendoza. You want to talk about having strict orders to do damage here tonight. I'm sure Santos Escobar is sending his boys out here to do some damage on the number one contender for the Cruiserweight Championship. Raul Mendoza, an impressive athlete inside the ring. He's got Joaquin Wilde in his corner light. I'm sure Santos Escobar is kicking his feet up in the locker room, getting ready to observe his top challenger for the Cruiserweight Gold come Money in the Bank. Isaiah Swerve Scott earning this opportunity a few weeks back on Monday Night Raw. Him and the Ricochet tearing it up inside of the ring. That is where Swerve punched his ticket to Money in the Bank. But will Swerve be going into the Cruiserweight Championship match 100% as he's going one-on-one -on -one with one of Santos Escobar's running buddies here tonight of Legado del Fantasma, Raul Mendoza, who already just sent Swerve for a ride off that German suplex. Raul on the apron. I'm sure Isaiah Swerve Scott wants all the momentum in his corner heading into the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. Santos Escobar retained the Cruiserweight Championship in his first defense a couple of weeks back on Monday Night Rawls, an incredible contest versus Grand Metal League. So Santos already proving he is the top of the top in the Cruiserweight division, but Isaiah looking to make money in the bank, Swerve's house, and looking to become the new Cruiserweight champion live on pay-per-view on May the 2nd at 6 p.m. Eastern time. Rowell looking to do damage to the number one contender. You gotta watch Joaquin Wilde at ringside as well. I'm sure he's gonna have his eyes. Oh, the swerve in this contest is Raul Mendoza diving almost halfway across the ring with that elbow drop. And I'm going to continue the offense to the lower back of Isaiah Swerve Scott. Swerve able to get out of it there early on. Try to go for the integrity, but Raul Mendoza, underrated talent inside of the ring. He knows how to get it done. As he goes for the cover, looking to put away the Cruiserweight Champion. Talking about derailing the momentum for Isaiah Swerve Scott if he loses this matchup to Raul Mendoza here tonight. As we mentioned, Money in the Bank coming up on May the 2nd. It's an incredible card. Seven matches signed. Five championships will be defended. And of course, there are two Money in the Bank ladder matches. One for the men and one for the women. And still to come here tonight, we have our six women tag team matchup. Featuring Asuka, Io Shirai, and Candice LeRae. Taking on Ember Moon, Shotzi, and Shayna Baszler. All six women from the women's Money in the Bank ladder match going to be forced to team up and coexist here tonight. In a six woman tag team matchup as Isaiah Swerve Scott with that flatliner taking out Raul Mendoza, but he gets his hand on the ropes. Almost scoring the pinfall there, did Swerve. Very crucial for Swerve to keep his momentum going. Heading into Money in the Bank. Oh, look at this. Swerve with the kick to Raul Mendoza. I believe he calls it the house call, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if he caught all of it there. Into the cover. Raul Mendoza gets the shoulder up, but I got to credit that to Isaiah Swerve Scott. I think he may have gotten all of it, but he didn't go for the cover right away. He pulled Raul Mendoza away from the ropes, which in hindsight makes a lot of sense, but it gave time for Mendoza to recover, and now Swerve is in trouble here, but Isaiah gets the shoulder up at two. Great cruiserweight action here on main event. Raul Mendoza certainly following his boss's orders here this evening and hits another German suplex, folding Isaiah Swerve Scott inside out. Mendoza 
Great cruiserweight talent he is. He's headed to the top rope. What is he looking for? Phoenix Splash lands flush on Isaiah Swerve Scott. You want to talk about potentially breaking a rib before a big time matchup in your career. That might just do it. As Mendoza not even going to go for the cover just yet. He's going to stay on the offensive swerve and a big time it's a goalie. End of the cover here goes Raul Mendoza. And Swerve may be down and out for good, but Isaiah gets the shoulder up. Isaiah Swerve Scott showing some heart, showing some resilience here over Raul Mendoza in this match. Great showing by both men, like it or not, as Isaiah Swerve Scott, look at this, taking Mendoza on a ride, a little bit of a tilt to whirl there. Swerve's trying to mount some offense. Mendoza wants to cut him off. He got a suplex here, but he turns it inside out. Great offense from Mendoza as he hits that springboard moonsault. I believe that was off the bottom rope. Super impressive. He tried following it up with a shooting star press. But Isaiah Swerve Scott got the knees up just in the nick of time. Mendoza with some great offense in this matchup, but he has yet to put the swerve away. As Swerve hits a shooting star press, showing that he can get it done as well. Isaiah trying to hang in there. As we said, showing the heart, showing the soul. Isaiah Swerve Scott with the house call to Raul Mendoza. Mendoza may be down and out for the count in this contest. And Isaiah Swerve Scott keeps the momentum going towards Money in the Bank. Got to give credit where it's due. Raul Mendoza putting up some great offense against the Swerve in this contest. But Isaiah Swerve Scott, the number one contender for the Cruiserweight Championship, reaching down deep. Showing heart, showing soul, showing resilience in this contest. And in the end... Here is your winner, Isaiah Swerve Scott. He is the man getting his hand raised. But will Isaiah Swerve Scott walk out of Money in the Bank, the new Cruiserweight Champion? We're going to find out when he goes one-on-one -on -one with Santos Escobar live on Monday, May the 2nd. Coming up on May the 2nd, the Money in the Bank pay-per-view, we're going to see the women's Money in the Bank ladder matchup between Candice LeRae, Io Shirai, Shayna Baszler, Asuka, Ember Moon, and Shotzi. Who is going to be the one to take down the briefcase? And on the flip side, the men's Money in the Bank ladder match featuring Austin Theory, Mustafa Ali, the rated R superstar Edge, Matt Riddle, Damian Priest, and Samoa Joe. Who is going to climb the ladder and earn the contract? The Cruiserweight Championship will be on the line, as we mentioned, Isaiah Swerve Scott keeping his momentum going, but will it be enough to topple the leader of Legado del Fantasma and become the new Cruiserweight Champion in Philadelphia? The World Tag Team Championships up for grabs as Danny Burch and Ooney Lorcan look to get another victory over Eric and Ivar, the Viking Raiders. Will they bet that second victory? Will they walk out with the WWE World Tag Team Championships? The Intercontinental Gold is on the line. Sheamus defends against his old friend and old foe, the number one contender Drew McIntyre. McIntyre surviving an incredible matchup earlier tonight, building momentum towards the pay-per-view. Will he be the new Intercontinental Champion? The Women's Championship on the line, Rhea Ripley has been out to make a statement over Bianca Blair. Blair wants payback after the recent attacks from the one of brutality. Will Bianca retain the title or will Rhea walk out the new Women's Champion? And of course the WWE Championship will be on the line as well. The phenomenal AJ Styles will be inside the ring with two men who have been at each other's throats for weeks. Jeff Hardy and the Prince Finn Balor. A triple threat for the WWE Championship on May 2nd at Money in the Bank, Philadelphia. Here we come. But it is time for your main event. A six-woman tag team matchup featuring the participants of the women's Money in the Bank ladder match. The following contest. Introducing first, from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, Shayna Baszler. The Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler, was a former women's tag team champion and one of the most dominant NXT women's champions in the promotion's history. She has never held the WWE Women's Championship, though. She has never been at the top of the mountain on the main roster. This could be the opportunity that Shayna Baszler needs to finally capitalize on that top spot. If Shayna can climb the ladder come May 2nd, and retrieve the briefcase hanging above the ring. She will earn a championship opportunity anytime, any place, for up to one year. And that goes for all six women. The opportunity of a lifetime on the line at Money in the Bank. A future shot at the WWE Women's Championship of the World. 
But here comes the first of Shayna Baszler's tag team partners here this evening. I don't know how they're all going to get along, but here comes Shotzi on her way to the ring. And from Oakland, California, Shotzi! Well, Shotzi's on the same side as her tag team partner, Ember Moon, here tonight, but the X Factor of their team is Shayna Baszler. A lot of combustible elements in this matchup. It's all about building momentum, though. Will all these women be able to stay afloat and stay on the same page, or will things break down in this contest? That remains to be seen as this six-woman tag team match kicks off in moments. But Shotzi is a former NXT Women's Tag Team Champion, along with one of her partners here tonight, Ember Moon. But she's never been a singles champion. She's had some recent showings, very impressive showings, I might add, against Bianca Belair, the Women's Champion of the WWE. On both occasions, she came up short. But Shotzi proving that she can hang and proving that she belongs inside the squared circle. But as we mentioned, she's a former NXT Women's Tag Team Champion and a former NXT Women's Champion as well. Ember Moon has arrived here on Man Event. And from Dallas, Texas, Ember Moon! She was the last to qualify for the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match. She did. She did so, excuse me, by defeating Bailey last week here on Main Event in an incredible contest. Ember Moon with a great showcase on that night. As we mentioned, she's a former NXT Women's Champion, a former NXT Women's Tag Team Champion, but she's never been at the top of the mountain on the main roster. She's had opportunities in the past. Unfortunately, those opportunities passed Ember Moon by. Ember Moon, we know how agile and exciting she is inside the squared circle. Add some ladders into play. God only knows what Ember Moon is going to try to pull off come Philadelphia. Half your field is set for this six-woman tag team matchup. There's three other women come the Money in the Bank ladder match as well, and that kicks off with Candice LeRae, who is going to take down the briefcase come live Monday, May the 2nd, right here on the No Nation YouTube channel at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. You are not going to want to miss the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. From Anaheim, California, Candice LeRae! Also a former NXT Women's Tag Team Champion, Candice LeRae. New to the main roster, but not new to the squared circle. She's a veteran of the ring, and she knows how to get down and dirty and get a little violent when weapons are involved. Anybody who's seen her wrestle outside of the WWE has seen Candice LeRae wear the Crimson Mask before. We know how brutal Candice will get inside of the ring. Who knows what's going to happen when you add ladders into play. And here comes one of the most exciting women in the WWE today, Io Shirai. And from Tokyo, Japan, Io Shirai. Not only a former NXT Women's Tag Team Champion, but one of the most impressive and exciting NXT Women's Champions in the history of the brand. Io Shirai making her main roster debut a couple of weeks ago when she qualified for the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match. Now here tonight she looks to build momentum with a dream tag team partner on her side, Asuka. Will those two women be able to coexist co excuse me, with Candice LeRae? It's all about building momentum towards Money in the Bank. That's been the theme of the evening. Io Shirai has entered. And now we wait. The Empress of Tomorrow. She returned a few weeks back. She was the first woman to qualify for the ladder matchup by defeating Naomi on Monday Night Raw. Asuka has arrived. And from Osaka, Japan, Asuka! The most dominant women, perhaps, to ever grace the squared circle. A former NXT Women's Champion, the longest reigning NXT Women's Champion in history, as well as a former SmackDown and Raw Women's Champion. Asuka incredibly impressive inside the squared circle. As we mentioned, she made her return to Monday Night Raw a few weeks back. She was the first woman to qualify for the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match. And now Asuka, looking to keep building momentum towards the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. Upon her return, she's looking to get back to the top of the women's division. 
And she can absolutely do so. Come May 2nd, she is able to pull down the briefcase and earn that contract for herself. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The field is set. Six women tag team matchups. A little preview of the women's Money in the Bank ladder match. Come the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. It's Ember Moon, Shotzi, and Shayna Baszler versus Candice LeRae, Asuka, and Io Shirai right here, right now on main event. As Candice LeRae and Shayna Baszler start and saw inside of the ring. What a great night of action it has been so far. Drew McIntyre and Isaiah Swerve Scott respectively building momentum towards their contest. Come Money in the Bank and now all six of these women looking to do the same here. It's kind of been the theme of this evening with the pay-per-view approaching and so many high caliber matches on the way. Two ladder matches, five championship matches. Nobody wants to give an inch. Nobody wants to go in on the losing efforts. Shayna showcasing her talents there, just beating down Candice LeRae, something Candice LeRae, or excuse me, something Shayna Baszler does best inside the squared circle. On top of Asuka, Shayna Baszler's got to be right under her as possibly the most dominant women in NXT history. Candice taking the fight to Shayna Baszler right here. When you look inside the ring and around the ring, you see so many former rivals from the NXT and and main roster days. Ember Moon and Shayna Baszler on the same side of the night. They've had a history of problems. Asuka and Ember Moon. Io Shirai and Candice LeRae. A lot of combustible elements. A lot of former rivalries inside of the ring, but it's all gonna be reignited starting here tonight. Especially the contracts hanging above the ring. Candice LeRae and Shotzi in here right now. That's the match that I would love to see. One on one, two very excited women inside of the ring. And is sending Shotzi into the corner. And Shotzi's fighting back. As we mentioned, how impressive Shotzi's been as Candace takes her down as of late. And those matches against Bianca Blair, we've mentioned them a lot recently. That's because Shotzi proved her worth inside the square circle. And those knights and Io Shirai in and absolutely just taking the head off Shotzi. Shotzi tagging in Shayna Baszler. Now Shayna Baszler and Io Shirai in. They've had their fair share of issues in NXT. And Io Shirai just able to shoulder block through Shayna Baszler. And look at this. Takes her over. Nice double stomp. That's some of the impressive and innovative maneuvers inside of the ring that you see out of Io Shirai. One of the most exciting talents in the women's division today. Can't imagine with some of these women, especially Io Shirai, Candice LeRae, Ember Moon, their styles inside of the ring, how they're going to mesh, how exciting it's going to be. The Addicts, some ladders in their play. I can't imagine the demolition derby that is going to take place in Philadelphia. It's Asuka with a nice shot to Shayna Baszler. Let's talk about a two we have on the ring right now. Asuka and Baszler going at it. And what a great field we have set for the women's Money in the Bank ladder match. A lot of women getting some opportunities that they haven't gotten often. It's great to see fresh faces getting new chances in the women's division as Shayna Baszler is just grounding and pounding on Asuka here, looking to prove that she is and always has been the most dominant women in WWE. We got a tag to Ember Moon. Now Ember Moon and Asuka, we touched on their history in the past as Ember Moon with the springboard kick to Asuka. These two women having two of the most exciting matches in NXT history. Back in 2017, did Asuka and Ember Moon. Ember Moon became a superstar through those contests, but Asuka was always the one on top. Also, to drop the elbow. Ember Moon getting out of the way. These two women know each other very well. It's been some time since they squared off with each other inside of the ring. And you just don't forget somebody as talented as one another. As you see, they're going back and forth ever since Ember Moon tagged in. They just know each other so well inside of the ring. Oscar sending Ember Moon to the wrong corner here. Ember looking to fight back. She's got Oscar on the shoulder. She's sending her possibly into a snake eyes into the corner. Ember going for the cover early. Maybe a little early to get the pitfall or something the caliber of Asuka inside the ring. Asuka getting the shoulder up. 
As we were mentioning, ladies and gentlemen, the other Money in the Bank ladder match coming up on May the 2nd. The men's Money in the Bank ladder match. What a stacked field we have for that match as well. The Young Gun, Austin Theory, Mustafa Ali, who's been on a roll as of late. The Archer, Damian Priest, the Destroyer, Samoa Joe. What a double team by Shayna Baszler and Ember Moon. What about one half of RK Bro, Matt Riddle going to be in that contest? And then, of course, the man who knows the money in the bank and its powers very well, the rated R Superstar Edge. What a lineup we have for the men's side of the ladder matchup. Shayna Baszler back in here with Asuka. She's dominated over the Empress right now. Look at this, locking her in a submission hold, and the ropes are right there. It's a quick rope break for Asuka, saving her some offense. And Io Shirai's in there. I believe she was only in there to break up the count, but she ends up scrapping with Shayna Baszler. And there's Asuka went for the hip attack, but Shayna able to sidestep it. And now has got a hold of the Empress. A lot of moving parts in a six-woman tag team match. Ruff's got to keep his eye on all these women in here. Make sure things don't start breaking down. And once again, Ember Moon and Shayna Baszler double team in this match. I'm surprised to see them working so well together, especially with their history. As Ember Moon, signature kicks to the Empress of tomorrow. Looking to put Asuka away here. Could be a big time win for Ember Moon, but Io Shirai in the break it up. And there's Shotzi in here going after Io. Things are going to start breaking down in this six woman tag team affair. And Asuka's right there. Did you kick Shotzi? But Ember Moon blocks her off. Referee's got to take control, make sure things don't start breaking down. We got to tag the Shayna Baszler, Ember Moon, and Shayna Baszler get a double team on Asuka again. I'm shocked to see it, but they send Asuka for a ride. Io Shirai's back in the ring. You got to watch her. She's going at Shayna Baszler. Shayna's the legal woman. She doesn't see Asuka tagging Candice LeRae, and there's Candice with a drop kick. Body's moving all over the place in this six-woman tag. Both Asuka and Io Shirai are down at the moment, however. And Candice LeRae is going to have to go to Lone against a completely, pretty much fresh team as Ember Moon is back in here. Going for the suplex. Candice LeRae is trying to hang in. Nice counter. Hooks the hips. German suplex to Ember Moon. Incredible action we are seeing out of these six women here tonight. Nobody willing to give an inch of being the losing end of things heading into the ladder match. And just goes to the instant really. Ember Moon right there to cut her off, however. Nice neck break, you're going to follow it up. Hooks the arm, sending Candice the right for a ride. I believe we saw Io Shirai get back up on the apron. Asuka's still down and out. She took a lot of punishment. She was in there for a couple of minutes. Took the beating from Ember Moon and Shayna Baszler. As they're teaming up once again. And this time, sending Candice the face first on the canvas. And Shayna going to go into the cover. Candice the Ray, could be all. Candice able to get the shoulder up at two. I believe one that was. Back in an even playing field, Asuka and Io Shirai back up in the apron. Shayna Baszler looking to ground and pound on Candice LeRae here. Going to pop an arm out of the socket, and then we'll get the tag to Shotzi in this contest. Candice taking down Shotzi there. That's kind of... Of course, also coming up with money in the bank. Speaking of the women, the WWE Women's Championship could be on the line. Bianca Belair defends the championship against Rhea Ripley one-on-one. -on -one. It all started when Rhea Ripley laid out Bianca a few weeks ago on the wall. Then we saw that brawl ensue this past Monday night on the wall. Rhea Ripley cut in line, sending an, sending an impact, sending a message. And she was coming for the women's championship, but she's getting what she wanted. Because Bianca wants revenge over Ripley. So those two women are going to be going at it inside of the ring with the women's championship on the line on pay-per-view. A great match that is going to be. As Shotzi taking down Candice LeRae with the slice spread maneuver there. Hit of the cover, but Asuka's in to break up the count. And Io Shirai in here as well. Things starting to break down once again. Shotzi taking over Io. Referee's got to get control. Make sure these women are tagging in, tagging out. Candice in there with Shotzi now. Got to keep her eye on Io, though. Well, what a six-woman tag team match we have main eventing for you. Here tonight on Man Event. It's been a great couple of weeks. We've seen so much action leading up to Money in the Bank, and Money in the Bank is going to be the culmination of it all. I cannot wait to get the pay per view. A live premiere Monday night, May the 2nd, 6 p.m. Eastern Time, right here on youtube.com forward slash Nation Vlogs. Make sure you set the notifications 
That way you don't miss the live premiere. Ember Moon in there with Candice LeRae. Eos down. Oscar's in the apron now. Candice down and out. Ember Moon gonna tag in the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. Gotta say, Shayna, Ember, and Shotzi definitely been working more of a cohesive union in this matchup. We've seen some tags from Eo, Candice, and Oscar, but they've also been a little all over the place in this match. One team clearly, in my opinion, looking more of a well-oiled machine than the other. It's Candice LeRae. What does she got in mind for Shayna here? She's able to muscle Shayna Baszler up. Obviously, the bigger woman, Shayna Baszler, eats the canvas. Nice maneuver by Candice LeRae. And Oscar, meanwhile, on the apron. Oscar's trying to get her some of Shayna. A couple of cheap shots there. Meanwhile, Baszler, big time kick to the chest of Candice LeRae. Shayna going to tag in Ember Moon. But the damage may be done. Candice may be down now for good in this contest. As Ember Moon just ragdolling Candice the right side of the ring. Ember Moon's clearly got something in mind, dragging Candice away away from the ropes here. Meanwhile, Ember Moon, oh, look at this. She could be looking for that STF maneuver. This is how she qualified for the Money in the Bank matchup last week. And I believe through all the chaos, Candice LeRae has tapped it. Ember Moon scored the victory. We got Shotzi and Asuka and Io Shirai all in the ring. But through the chaos, Ember Moon going back to what works, the same maneuver that punched her ticket to Money in the Bank. She taps out Candice LeRae and scores the victory for her team here tonight. Definitely an impressive victory. One team clearly working better than the other in this contest. And Shotzi, Ember Moon, and Shayna Baszler building momentum towards the Money in the Bank pay-per-view here this evening. Here are your winners, Shayna Baszler, Shotzi, and Ember Moon. The three are on the same side tonight. The respect goes out the window. Live Monday night, May the 2nd, 6 p.m. Eastern time. The Money in the Bank pay-per-view. Which women, which men, are going to be walking out of the pay-per-view with championship gold with the briefcases in hand. Find out Monday night, May the 2nd. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you at Money in the Bank. Yeah, I just want to be great, yeah, yeah.